Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Experience RC. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Matt. Thank you for stopping by. If you haven't yet subscribed, uh, then please subscribe and hit the bell uh, for notifications of all upcoming content. There's going to be quite a lot of it. Uh, just a quick update really today on what I've done with the Bronco. Uh, I'm not exactly too sure uh, where I'm going to take this truck at the moment, but obviously Bronco is a gorgeous body and I wanted to make the most of it. Um, so today's update uh, consists of two things, roof rack and um, all the windows. So if I just jump over the roof rack first, because that's really the smallest modification. That is the stock roof rack that comes on the Jeep, um, on the Jeep Cherokee. Uh, so the stock SCX10 2 kit. And it fits absolutely perfect. It fits right down the sides of the roof. It's like it was made for it. Uh, at, it perfect. So if you're looking for one, I'd, I'd highly recommend picking one of them up. Um, it also has the holes on the front as well. So you can put a light bar on if you wish. Um, but spot on, couldn't be any happy with it. And it also hides the body posts on the top as well. And the bigger modification I've done was getting rid of the awful window panels um, that it had. No idea why they designed it like that. I'm not sure if that is how the real one is or if it was just a cheaper way to do it in production or maybe to encourage people to buy new bodies for their trucks, but I didn't like it. And this is a very shiny black anyway. It shows fingerprints up a lot. And when I was filming, I found that I could see the reflection of, uh, of myself and my camera uh, in the windows a lot. And so I knew it was something I wanted to change. And plus going for that scale detail, I wanted to be able to see inside the car and just add as much realism as I could to it. So you'll see, I got rid of them panels and actually put some proper windows in. And believe it or not, the way I did that was actually salvaging a picture frame. So I had a couple of picture frames in my garage. Uh, they were just stuff from Ikea. Uh, but when I bought them picture frames, I didn't realize that the front of the frame was actually made of like a Lexan. It wasn't glass. So I wasn't, I wasn't going to put them up in the house. Uh, they didn't really have the finish that I wanted. Um, and it just occurred to me the other day. I was like, well, why buy Lexan when I've got picture frames with it in the garage? So I pretty much, I used my, um, I used my pen knife. I cut around the windows as neat as I possibly could, just took my time. And obviously you have to score in it. God knows how many times they finally, uh, the templates finally fell out. I then used them to draw around and to put, or to, I suppose as a mask, so I could create some replacement windows out of Alexa. And then I, on the inside of the body, it's quite heavily taped up now, so you won't really see much. Excuse the mess at the back, it still needs to be taped down more. When I put the windows inside, I need to use some Unibond, which is very messy stuff. I wouldn't recommend using that for the windows. Um, but I Unibonded them in place, which, which did work very well. Obviously, you don't use super glue, you get that white, nasty cloud that just destroys uh, Lexan and stuff like that. So I glued them in with Unibond, and then once they were dry, I covered all the inside with Gorilla Tape, uh, which uh, has worked out perfectly. And then, but what I found then was from the Unibond, and which you probably get from different kinds of glue anyway, I'd got like a horrible residue all around the outside of the window. So I got my original windows that I cut out, I cut a couple mil off all the way around, and then I stuck a bit of double-sided tape on the back and stuck them back on, and out into the garage, uh, I've got some matte black paint. So hopefully you can see that. I actually spray painted over them. I'm not sure if you can see around there. That black paint just covered up the imperfections from the glue, but also makes it look like um, you've got like a rubber window seal around there. And I mean, that mod is as cheap as it gets. And I think the truck looks so, so much better like that. Obviously the only issue with taking out the windows is that you can now see through them, obviously you can through into the body. So next point of call for me on this will be to design some kind of interior. I'll probably just have quite a big flat bed in the back so I can fill with some kind of accessories, sleeping mats, rope, buckets, that kind of, you know, your normal kind of scale stuff. Um, and I'll see if there's a way if I can hide the, the body posts. 
But there we are. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you're a new subscriber, make sure to let me know so I can come and check out your content too. Big thanks for watching. Um, it's appreciated as always. And we'll see you on the next episode of Experience RC.